you guys with the brand new HTC Desire 820 today and it's one of those mid-range device from HTC and in fact one of the first devices to sport a Snapdragon 615 chipset. You have the U Eureka release yesterday which is also powered by that. You also have the X5 Max which is currently the slimmest device in the market powered by 615. So there's a lot of these uh, mid-range devices currently are being powered by the Snapdragon 615 which is a relatively newer uh, chipset and powered by a A53 processors, two quad core processors basically. But we'll come to that a uh, bit later. First we'll go over the hardware here. Uh, Desire 820 it's an all plastic body but I love the look and feel of the device. It's a big device 5.5 inch screen device. But see the very subtle color combinations out here. They do not have colors like on a solid block. They always have, let's see this blue color on the surroundings here, surrounding the um, LED and surrounding the buttons out here and on this. This kind of gives a very um, subtle as at the same time, um, you know, very eye-catchy and classy look to the device again your blue out here so it's not going overboard it's not like the totally blue that kind of um, look is also okay but that looks more playful and maybe if you're on a business or maybe if you're a grown-up you might not just like that too glossy too kind of going overboard kind of a color but this one is very very subtle and it will I think appeal to both the youth crowd as well as let's say uh, business um, crowd as well so you have that 5.5 inch screen, both the sides are very very glossy, the front and back as well as the front will attract a lot of fingerprints. Only HD display, 720p, we don't know of any Gorilla Glass protection out here. You have a massive 8 MP front camera out here and then the usual one of the most popular features in HTC, the dual boom speakers. You also have the earpiece hidden on top of that, you will have the shortcut keys on the screen. So then. You cannot open the back flap of this device. You have space for SD card and then two nano SIM card slots. So both uh, are nano SIM. Below you have the micro USB 2.0 port. Then you have the power button, the volume rocker, 3.5 mm jack, and a noise cancelling mic out there. Behind you have the 13 MP autofocus camera. It can record full HD at 30 FPS and 720p at 60 FPS accompanied by an LED flash, your HTC branding and there's some of the other information out there. So uh, the device is very big and it's actually hard to fit into a relatively smaller hands like mine but still I guess it's just about okay just about fits in the hand but I've seen 5.5 devices which are like slightly smaller and more manageable than this one however it's very very beautiful. Now coming back to the chipset, it's powered by that new Snapdragon 615 chipset. It's an MSM8939 if you care about the model number. It has two quad-core CPUs, one 1.5 gig Cortex-A53, another one is one gig Cortex-A53. Now you would see that throughout this uh, chipset lineup, you would have that one gigahertz second uh, quad-core CPU pretty much consistent across the chipset line. However, the first one's clock speed differ. For example, this one is 1.5 gig. You have the U Eureka uh, by Micromax that's powered by Sinusen mode. That was released yesterday that was powered by 1.7 gig so you have different clock speed on the first one but second one pretty much remains consistent at 1 gigahertz 2gb of ram and 16gb onboard memory but the micro sd card supports up to a massive 128gb uh, of external storage now talking about the display 5.5 inch display and um, you know only HD resolution is not much much less appealing than a full HD let alone a 2k display that uh, the latest flagship come with however it's also gonna help saving the battery life immensely 2600 mAh battery it's decent but it's not exquisite we've seen over 3000 uh, mAh batteries consistently in case of a 5.5 inch displays and um, but then that HD screen is gonna help saving those battery life because screen is one of the main culprit of draining battery life however the screen is crisp enough and if not the it's also very bright and 
gonna go ahead and check out the wing angle you see the wing angles are also pretty good the IPS screen out here I have the brightness to the fullest so that also helps but uh, in real life you generally want to set the brightness to auto or maybe uh, you know at about half level however the viewing angle at full brightness is awesome also you can see it's bright enough crisp enough but if you really go down zooming in on stuff then you might see uh, pixelations and all but otherwise I think the screen is very, very decent I'm never against an HD screen because I particularly never watch too many movies on a small screen like this anyway so that um, it does not matter much for me but battery life is more important so this one's uh, powered by Android KitKat of course and you have HTC Sense 6.0 on top that comes with of course you can see blink feed and you can actually go ahead out here you can remove ping fleet or set as home and all those stuff and you can also add widgets and all and then long press on the home screen will take you to google now your recent app you can do it with one by one or you can simply press this to kill all and then you have your main app drawer that has this many apps I remember from here we have installed this six apps for our test purposes but apart from that you see you have media tools like all music um, cameras and everything and then you also have the Google default apps and some third-party apps Facebook and what else WeChat you also have power to give uh, read on net about this Polish office again a third-party um, office software free office software anyway so those are the apps I mainly you'd get with this so I'm gonna go ahead and check out some of the apps so first the dialer is pretty big and the call quality is actually excellent I'm on Airtel network which is currently the best network in India I guess as far as the LDNCR is concerned um, the reception is brilliant that's one of the thing I like and I'm gonna go ahead and check out the messaging as well there's a typical um, HTC layout out there very big um, you know those fonts and everything those keys and it's absolutely no problem typing on this fast and then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go to the gallery and you have the highlights there you have the small highlight clippings that you can share you can also change the music and stuff there you go yep it's one of our color cards there good crisp display and that's the gallery you can also go ahead and batch uh, share photos you can edit single photos and let's go ahead and check out the music now very very good bass in fact I think the bass is a tad bit too much so much that the song starting to crackle uh, the, this song um, I mean the music's always been one of the strongest part of the latest HTC uh, mid to high end devices mainly because of this innovative placing the speakers on the top it might look very easy but then keeping those speakers going uh, you know vibrating uh, inside this when you have the antenna is really really a big feat and um, it's a good thing the sound is well just about loud enough maybe not for crowded places but good enough uh, bass is excellent however as I told you the song crackles a bit treble is also fine but it's kind of overshadowed by uh, the bass we've tried listening to via our earphones and we are absolutely impressed by this the sound uh, it sounds much better uh, via the earphones and also the bass becomes proper and the crackling suddenly is not there I'm gonna go ahead and check out a movie to see how it sounds how the vocal the mid-range sounds Let's see. the surround sound is unreal From the 
excellent vocal and it suddenly seems ironical that uh, on a uh, relatively low res screen you have one of the best surround system for watching movies so music is pretty good let's check out the 13 MP camera it has a very very familiar HTC layout and the best thing I like about this UI is this sound this the small sound is Brilliant. I mean, I, I love the very subtle tut sound that's a front camera. Yeah, and let's see even the shutter sound, although it does not have a shutter per se. It's very cool. I love this. It's very pleasant. And it's also fast enough. You can also start your video recording from right there. can take your stills out there that's what I was looking for the UI was slightly slow to load and you have your flash settings out here you have all of your other white balance and other settings photo booth and split capture and whatnot so uh, usual UI I like this all these are very very easy to change and stuff the photo and video quality are excellent and uh, it's a trademark HTC camera so uh, HTC cameras are generally always on the better side there are enough details all the photos were slightly on the softer side but under enough light they were perfectly uploadable uh, to Facebook and Twitter and Instagrams and such um, the, the saturation and hue are very very natural they are not uh, going overboard at the red or uh, the greenish palettes then let's check out the settings pretty much the usual uh, settings again you have dual sim settings you've seen all these things so all the settings and other stuff are becoming you know pretty similar in all the devices these days you have stories but you'll see much less stories here because we have the games and all installed and then in about phone software information you would see android 4.4.4 and your htc sense 6.0 so overall absolutely smooth user interface we did not face any lag any problem whatsoever during our usage of almost uh, about 20 days of usage we never got any um, lag anything nothing even while coming off or coming out from a game even when you have lots and lots of apps in the background this guy plays just smooth as a butter and it would be incomplete without talking about the battery life here because that's one of the fun part this guy has an incredible unreal battery life we like uh, we used it um, almost at a medium to uh, you know intense level and it actually I think went over 20 hours the battery lasted that much only 2600 mAh battery I know it's only an HD screen so that kind of uh, you know helps reducing the uh, increasing the battery life a bit but still over 20 hours is really really insane uh, we tried using it heavily all you know call and 3G and Wi-Fi all the time GPS was on all the time and you know definitely um, that actually helps reducing the battery life because the GPS and the Wi-Fi they keep trying to connect to the points that they have connected before so we tried that to see if we could reduce the battery life and I think we, we still could not bring it down 20 hours so um, one of the best battery life despite of having 2600 mAh now we we've seen better battery lives in devices of course better optimized devices but just uh, goes to say that this one is one of the more optimized sense 6.0 actually is one of the more optimized skins on top of KitKat and that really is helping the battery life that's I think one of the area where innovations can happen battery life we did some gameplay and benchmark testing and USB OTG testings and all you can check out those dedicated videos so then should you get the HTC Desire 820 I think it uh, it costs between 22 to 25k at this price point it I think um, if it was like six months ago um, the price would have been enough the price would have been just about right but now there are a lot of devices that are coming to the market mainly from the Chinese manufacturer which give almost similar specs to much much lower price for example the U Eureka that was released yesterday it was an incredible device 
सेम चिप चैट बेटर चिप यू बेटर क्लॉक सी पी यू एक्चुअली वन पॉइंट सेवन गिर हार्ट कम्पेयर टू वन पॉइंट फाइव गिर हार्ट हेयर सेम थर्टीन एम पी कैमरा फाइव एम पी फ्रंट कैमरा नो डाउट सेम सिक्सटीन एम पी एंड ऑल ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर स्पेक्स फॉर ओनली नाइन थाउजेंड सी नाइन थाउजेंड एंड कम्पेयर दैट टू ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड अफकोर्स दिस गाय लुक्स आई थिंक मच मोर ड्यूरेबल ए प्रीमियम एंड ऑल्सो इट लुक्स मोर ब्यूटिफुल दैन दैट वन बट यू नो वैन यू हैव वैन यूर इन अ मार्केट लाइक इंडिया प्राइस प्लेज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन बाइंग डिसीजन्स स्टील आई वुड से पीपल इन इंडिया ऑल्सो हैव अ हैबिट of trusting a brand for a long period of time and playing safe so in this case htc has a much better advantage much more advantage uh, compared to those new or relatively newer chinese brand so people who are brand conscious or people who do not know much about smartphones so they would want to play safe and they would want to go for trust long time brands like htc samsung um you know lg and all such in that case this device is a perfect buy i think at 22 to 25k you also have the honor 6 as a main competitor which is also a brilliant device you also have a lot of other devices like some of the older devices like the s5 mini and such um but 22k i think is the very right price and i would get this mainly for the sound output the camera performance and the very subtle classy color combinations that this guy have um if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this phone and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel for more such awesome content in future thank you